It over with, man. It's over with. Light skin niggas won. After Drake released his most recent diss song, The Heart Part 6, Gilly the Kid declared Drake the winner of his war with Kendrick Lamar, which caused some severe ruffling. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Following the release of the song on Sunday, May 5th, the co-host of Million Dollars Worth of Game posted a video on Instagram in which he continued to support Drizzy in the fight and even went so far as to declare him the winner over his formidable opponent. <laughs> Kendrick came back. <laughs> he said confidently. When he came back again with Not Like Us, I said, Oh, he barbecues baked, honey dipped, glazed, basted, seasoned the light skinned and is and then Drake just. It's over with, the light skinned and is won. Many people criticized Gilly for his passionate opinion in the comments area. One guy wrote, You're embarrassing Philly bruh, another said, while someone else commented, I'm about to unfollow this ball hugger. Some, like fellow hip hop media star Ebro Darden, accused the rapper turned podcaster of trying to gain favor with Drake. He wrote, man I hope Gilly get that interview. Fuck with Kendrick but that shit was going on the cob. Gilly the Kid doesn't like Kendrick Lamar's latest diss song, Euphoria, which criticizes Drake in the midst of their continuing conflict. You know what's crazy man, the light skin niggas is winning man, three to nothing. In a video that was shared on social media on Tuesday, the million dollars worth of game presenter shared his initial thoughts on the song. Gilly says he believes the song is cheesy and that Drake is up 2-0 in the beef while filming himself in his car. Drake up 2 to nothing. Chris Brown up 1 to nothing. Just take me back. I remember in the late 80s light skin NS ran everything up to the late 80s. Then Nino Brown pistol whipped every light skinned Anna in New Jack City. Then they had it bad all the way up to Steph Curry and Chris Brown and Clay Thompson and Drake. Now the light skinned NS doing what they want. Yeah, I'm modest with the hopes of being accepted. It's finally here, after weeks of conjecture. Yes, Kendrick Lamar is back, and he couldn't be happier, during which the six god is called out frequently and directly. Kendrick once makes a fatherhood related jab at Drake, whose son with Sophie Brussox was a major focal point of the 2018 Pusha T feud. I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. Kendrick's much awaited like that follow up is first introduced to listeners with some composed observations on witnessing someone's superpowers get neutralized. The song then builds up speed and finally erupts into a tirade of bars aimed at the person who denies the existence of a Summer Games sequel. After claiming to be the biggest hater three minutes in, Kendrick lists some of his Drake-specific targets of that hate, including, this ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest. It's always been about love and hate, now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Kendrick then goes on to say that the bitches you fuck are people who confuse themselves with real women, adding further hate to this. The co-founder of PG Lang clarifies that he is not just speaking for himself, but also expressing what the culture feeling. With a size seven men's on. Ever since Kendrick Lamar attacked Drake on his song like that, which he co-wrote with Future and Metro Boomin, fans have been waiting impatiently for an answer. The Toronto-born singer has primarily remained silent on radio thus far. Now, though, a video titled Drop and Give Me 50 that purports to be a new Drizzy song is circulating on social media. He seems to be making jabs at Rick Ross, Metro Boomin, Kendrick, and other people in the song. The only problem is that AI might have been used to develop it. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. He seemingly rhymes, calling Metro Boomin out by name. Like the label boy, you in a scope right now. He also allegedly fires back at Kendrick. He even may have addressed J. Cole deleting his own response to Kendrick and apologizing. I don't care what Cole think that that shit was weak as fuck. First one, niggas in they feelings over women. On Future and Metro Boomin's new album We Still Don't Trust You, Drake has taken additional flack. It seems like a sap Rocky and The Weeknd are taking aim at the Canadian singer. Follow-up seems to be equally as heavy as the one that came after three weeks ago, when Future and, most notably, Kendrick Lamar made fun of Drizzy on We Don't Trust You. Rocky seems to be rapping on show of hands about dating Drake's baby mother Sophie Brussox prior to her giving birth to their kid, Adnis. He spits. He also appears to throw shade at Drake's for all the dogs LP. Heard you drop your latest shit. Funny how it just came and went. <laughs> when they got leaks in the operation. The weekend, who featured on We Still Don't Trust You multiple times, also seems to be venting his frustration on his ex-friend in the song All to Myself. I think I and we never do the big talk. They shooters mac in TikToks. Got us laughing in the Lambo. The song's lyrics seem to be about Drake's unsuccessful attempts to sign The Weeknd to his OVO sound label in the early years of their collaboration. He appears to be taking aim at Baca Not Nice, an OVO sound signee who is active on TikTok as well. Baca, who frequently serves as Drake's security dog, was once taken into custody for human trafficking. 
During Friday night's opening night of his It's All a Blur tour Big as the What. In Tampa, Florida, Drake appeared to make a slight jab at Rihanna. As his 2016 song, Work, began to play. I don't sing this song anymore, you can sing it for me. Drake and Rihanna collaborated on Work as a way to support the singer's eighth studio album, Anti. The song topped the US Billboard Hot 100 for nine weeks, demonstrating its commercial success. At the 59th Grammy Awards, it was also a nominee for Record of the Year and Best Pop Duo or Group Performance. Drake has made appearances criticizing Rihanna before, including Friday Night. The lyrics of his For All the Dogs song, Fear of Heights, seem to allude to the artist, and her album, Anti. Who's apparently referencing Rihanna's Anti album and its Sex With Me song, I'm anti, I'm anti. Yeah, and the sex was average with you. Yeah, I'm anti cause I had it with you. And I had way badder bitches than you, TBH. Fans instantly criticized Drake, 36, on social media for allegedly calling out his well-known ex, 35, so many years after their breakup. In 2016, the Hotline Bling rapper and the Diamond singer had a brief relationship that ended two months later due to alleged scheduling issues. Rihanna stated to Vogue in June 2018 that she and Drake were not friends anymore but also not enemies either. What has altered since then that has led the One Dance singer to ostensibly disparage the love on the Brain singer is unknown. Drake rapping about Rihanna in 2023 and sounding as mature as he did in 2013 is as disappointing as it is predictable, one person tweeted. Drake dissing Rihanna on the album is crazy he's so salty I'm weak, another added. A third wrote, Drake dissed Rihanna my baby she is somewhere changing diapers for the 20th time this morning that lady does not gaff LMFAO. Referencing how Rihanna recently welcomed her second child, Riot, with her longtime boyfriend, Ayesa P. Rocky. The couple also share a one-year-old, Riza. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.